Hey guys, welcome to the flat frequency analysis course and in this course I'm going to teach you how can you use uh, global reanalysis stream flow data sets and observe uh, stream flow data set for calculation of floods with different return periods. As you know, uh, floods are dangerous natural hazards that can be certain lives, livelihoods and properties. Without information on flood risk, the planning, design, and management of infrastructures along rivers would be forced to proceed without quantitative scientific analysis. As you know, a flood frequency analysis provides information about the magnitude of flood, uh, uh, excuse me, the frequency of flood discharges based on records of annual maximum instantaneous peak discharges collected at stream gauges. In a sense, a flood frequency analysis is used to estimate the probability of flooding at a specific river location. In this slide, you can find <clears throat> different aspects of uh, applicability of flood uh, frequency analysis. For example, uh, we can use uh, FFA for design flood risk management projects for a flood plain definition, river engineering, and river protection studies, design the uh, hydraulic structures such as the spillways, bridge, and culverts, uh, reservoir design floods, and flood damage estimation uh, for different returns periods. Uh, also, uh, you know, uh, using uh, peak uh, flow data that is available for a number of years, uh, flood frequency analysis is used to create frequency distribution graphs. The best frequency distribution is chosen from the existing distributions such as Gamble, Normal, Log Pearson, uh, Gen Extreme, or other probability density uh, function. After choosing the um, uh, best uh, appropriate uh, probability distribution function that best fits the, to the uh, annual maxima data, flood frequency curves are plotted. These graphs are then used to estimate the design flow of values uh, corresponding for a specific uh, return uh, period and uh, as you know as you can see in this uh, slide uh, for each uh, probability density function we have uh, different uh, formulas uh, as i've mentioned in this uh, course uh, i'm going to teach you how can you use uh, the uh, glufas the uh, reanalysis data set for this issue uh, you know uh, the global flood awareness system is a global extension of the a European flood awareness system for forecasting floods across the world. It has been developed since 2011 by the Joint Research Center in close collaboration uh, with the ECMWF Center. And it's full uh, operation since 2018 under the Copernic Emergency Management uh, System. Uh, and you know, GLOFAS uh, is an operational, freely accessible web service for global hydrological forecasting and monitoring and it provides probabilistic hydrologic, hydrological predictions and overviews across the world on time scales from days to few months independent of administrative and political boundaries it is therefore especially beneficial for flood risk management uh, of large transnational river basin as well as for international and national water management or aid related organizations uh, in order to access this valuable data set, uh, you can go to the cds.climate.copernic.eu website. And uh, in this website, uh, you can easily download the required data set for your uh, case study. Okay, first of all, uh, I would like to show how can you use this website to download a GLOFAS data set. Uh, first of all, uh, you should go to cds.climate.copernic's website and uh, create a username or account. And after registration and you know, logging into your account, uh, you should go uh, to the dataset tabs. As you know, in this uh, page, uh, we have different tabs, for example, home, search, datasets, application, and so on. Uh, and in this section, uh, you should uh, click on Datasets tab. And in the search dataset, uh, you can type GLUFAS and click on search button. And after a while, we can find different uh, products that is related to GLUFAS datasets. Uh, 
uh, when you search uh, this uh, product, uh, you can find different uh, output. Uh, for example, the first one is river discharge and related historical data from global awareness system. Uh, I click on this data set. And the second one is river discharge and related forecasted data by Clupas, a global awareness data set. This is based on historical data set and this is for forecasted and reforecasted data set. And also uh, you can find seasonal forecasts or uh, reforecast of uh, river dis discharge uh, related data by Glupas uh, model. Okay, uh, I open uh, just the first one and the second. And as you can see in this page, you can find all about this uh, product and the uh, center and the objective of this product and the center and administrative uh, description uh, is presented in this uh, page. And also in this table, you can find uh, all uh, details about this valuable product. For example, the data type is gridded and also the projection is regular latitude longitude grid and also the uh, horizontal resolution is point, uh, 0 0.1 uh, for, ver uh, for version uh, 3. Point, and uh, the newer version is high resolution and the horizontal resolution is equal uh, 0 0.05 and uh, about 5 kilometers. And also the temporal coverage is uh, uh, from 1 January 1979 to near real time for version uh, 3.1 uh, and to uh, 11 September 22 for version 2.1 and 1 January 1980 to uh, 31 July 22 for uh, version 4. And also the file format uh, is uh, NetCDF4 or GRIP2. And also the related variables are elevation and upstream uh, area and also the river discharge in the last uh, 24 hours in the unit of uh, cubic meter per second. Okay, for downloading this data set, uh, you should click on download data and uh, in the system version, you can select uh, your desired version. As you can see in this uh, section, we have uh, three different version of this uh, data set and the version four is the latest a one and the version 21 is the uh, earlier version and is about, uh, I, I think, about uh, five years ago. Uh, okay, in this section, uh, I click on version 4 because it's a, a high resolution compared to other uh, version uh, 30.1 uh, and 2.1. Uh, also, in the hydrological model, uh, model you can uh, select list flood and HTCL uh, list flood. For example, I think in the older version, older version HTCL flood uh, is the uh, main hydrological model for prediction and simulation of stream flood data set. While in the version 4, uh, you can find, let me clear this, check version 4. In version, uh, version 4, uh, uh, the hydrological model which is used in this uh, data set is Lisvalat. Okay, uh, and also in the product type, you can uh, see uh, both uh, types. The first one is consolidated, and the second one is intermediate. Let me uh, des describe it, each of them. Uh, if you click on uh, this uh, question mark, you, you, can, uh, you can see. Uh, Glufas historical hydrological simulation based on ERO-5 reanalysis uh, is related to consolidated type and the ERO-5 uh, near real time, uh, I mean ERO-5T related to intermediate. The intermediate data set is updated daily while the consolidated data set is updated monthly. So we can use the intermediate one. Also, you can uh, download the consolidated and compare uh, 
uh, the results with observed data set in order to select the best uh, option. Okay, in this section, uh, you can sele uh, select the va only variable, I mean, revert discharge in the latest 24 hours. Okay, I click this. And also uh, for intermediate uh, product type, you just uh, download the 20, 21, 2022, and uh, 2023 20, uh, years. So I click on cancel located and click on uh, each years I want to download. You can select all or you can select just only one year. And also in the months and day uh, section, you can select uh, your desired months. In this section, I select all months because I want to download the annual time series of Streamflow data sets. And also in the day section, I uh, select, uh, selected all of dates. Uh, in the geographic data, uh, you can download uh, the flow discharge data set for all uh, of the world and also in the sub region extraction you can download this data set for only just a, a specific and a smaller region for example in the sub region extraction you should enter the west and east of your case study and also the south and north of your case study for example you should create a uh, a square or rectangle box around uh, your uh, watershed or your case studies and extract the west uh, and east um, coordinates and also south and north. For example, west is the minimum x uh, minimum longitude, s is the maximum longitude, south related to, uh, I mean, the minimum uh, latitude and the north uh, relates to the maximum latitude. For example, in this uh, case, uh, I entered uh, these values for uh, different uh, latitude and longitude directions. And also in the format, you can select the zip uh, net CDF or grid. Uh, there is no difference uh, uh, choosing between uh, these options, uh, you can uh, upload and extract data sets uh, from both uh, format easily, especially in a quantum GIS uh, platform. Or, or you can use Python or MATLAB environment to extract time series. However, in this course, uh, I will uh, show you how can you use uh, uh, quantum GIS in order to extract time series of stream flow, uh, flow data sets based on net CDF or GRIB data sets. Also, after setting all uh, required options, um, you can uh, click, uh, sorry, let me check, that's it, please check mandatory fields. Let me check. Okay, uh, we didn't select the system version. Okay, uh, after doing all these uh, options and uh, settings, uh, you can click on Submit Form. Uh, but uh, keeping your mind that when you select uh, different years, for example, when uh, I want to download two or three different years, uh, the volume of uh, the uh, downloading file will be higher than the threshold of this data. For example, in this website, you can download just about uh, uh, 500 uh, days uh, in a file. So uh, you should download uh, each of uh, data set separately for each year. And after extracting data set, you can, uh, you can sum up all data set in a, a unique Excel data set to have a a long-term uh, flow uh, time series. Okay, uh, I click. I can click on submit form, and after a while, uh, the download links uh, will be appear. Ho uh, however, uh, you can click on show toolbox request, and uh, you can find, and it gives you 
the required codes for uh, extraction of data set for uh, your uh, case study. And in this code, you can uh, enter the other data, other years, and download the long term data sets uh, using a Python uh, coding. Uh, for example, I can click this code and copy, copy them. Please go to the toolbox section. Okay, let me submit this form. Okay, as you can see, uh, our uh, product uh, uh, is in the status of a quick. And after a while, I think about uh, one minute or um, two minutes, however, it depends on the, uh, depends on your uh, case study and for a smaller uh, watershed it takes about uh, two minutes uh, while for a large uh, case study it can uh, reach to 10 minutes or uh, higher minutes okay uh, in this uh, in the toolbox section uh, there is a uh, fantastic and uh, useful uh, section which is called a toolbox editor and you can Enter your uh, Python code in this section and download all uh, data sets using, uh, I mean, coding processing. For example, in this case, you can see uh, I want to download the river discharge uh, based on version 21 for years uh, of year of 2020. However, you can hide different years. For example, I can enter 2020 and other uh, years and these are months and days and this section is and uh, my region is Iran however you can select all and delete and paste all copy code okay in this example uh, we want to download a uh, version 4 uh, I mean consolidated data set for this year I quotation twenty twenty copy column. Okay, let me twenty 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 one twenty two twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. And also, you can uh, change this area and also save the code. And click on run uh, button and after uh, after a while you can uh, in this section the download links will be appear and you can download the required data sets however uh, due to the high uh, volume of uh, this data sets uh, I don't uh, want to run uh, the run uh, icon because uh, it depends on the internet uh, speed it can take uh, a lot of uh, time to be downloaded so I skip uh, in this uh, space and go to the uh, request data sets and you can see uh, we have spent about uh, three minutes and our data set is in the processing status okay yeah, let's uh, to wait for finalizing the uh, data sets Okay, uh, I, I will see you in the next section.